Hi guys, same me, different room, but you guys are familiar with it, so that's cool. Got my glasses on today because we're going to be doing a video that involves me showing you some of my impulse buys and I want to be able to see them so I can read to you about any of them if I need to. Okay, one thing I need to say, my camera distorts color a little bit, so some of the products I'm going to show you is going to require me to explain, I guess, the color to you. I know that's super aggravating, but because my camera is really weird and it records really weird, I have to do it this way. I know. I'm really sorry. I need a new camera. I know. I know. The lighting's really bad. The sound quality's not the best. I'm recording on a laptop, guys. You know how I do. Gotta save some of that money. College student, if that don't tell you. Or, well, I guess technically ex-college student because I'm graduating from the college I was attending. Whole different story. Moving on. Every little bit of money that you can save is something that you can use towards something that you need. That's kind of how I was brought up anyway. Um, the stuff I'm going to show you is impulse buys. Some of it cost a dollar. Some of it... Um, maybe nine I think maybe that's the most I'm not for sure one of them might be 13 I don't know let's get into it I'm gonna start with something um, I guess really nobody needs unless you collect this kind of stuff which I'm starting to I don't have a big collection but uh, let's take a look I bought some stickers so, this pack is Star Wars related. For all of you that don't know, I am a Star Wars fan. It's got all your basic characters. Luke, Leia, Yoda, Darth Vader. Um, pretty much all the people that's well known. I think Boba Fett's on here on the bottom. Right there. I know that's really hard to see, but it's because these stickers don't show up very well. But... Um, I like, I basically got it because it's got all my favorite characters on it. Yoda, Chewbacca, um, I like Han Solo. Yeah. It had all the characters that I liked. And I thought maybe I could use this to decorate something. I have like notebooks. I have um, my iPod, the back of it which I think I've already done a video on. If I haven't, I need to do that. I did a video on how I made like a fandom one for the uh, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, but I, I have a new uh, background on it right now. Anyway, this was like a dollar. I couldn't pass it up, guys. I know, impulse buy. But it was... Um, I might put it on like letters or something that I send to people. I haven't decided. I don't know if I'm going to collect it, keep it. I don't know what we're doing. And then I sort of impulse buy this because it's Lisa Frank and if y'all don't know I grew up in an era where um, Lisa Frank was still a pretty big deal. Thank God. Am I right? And this was really pretty. Even the background is colorful. The background of the sheet. And um so I had to buy it. I also bought last year a Lisa Frank calendar from the same place that I bought this. But anyway, it says it has 600 stickers in it. There's a website right here for Lisa Frank. It says www.lisafrank.com. You can follow them on Twitter, Pinterest, and you can like them on Facebook. Self promo to Lisa Frank. But... Um, I bought this because it kind of reminded me of my childhood. Me and basically every girl that I knew, uh, we had to have the Lisa Frank folders and notebooks. And I had a binder one time, so I got that for the nostalgia. I know. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. It says there's five sheets of stickers in this. It's got all your popular Lisa Frank characters right here is probably a better photo to show you guys oh yeah so how many of you guys 
even know what Lisa Frank is. How many of you guys used to collect uh, the stuff? I really want to know that. So feel free to comment down below if you're familiar with this. If you grew up like I did with um, every single girl in your class having almost the same folder or binder or whatever, let me know. Whoops. I'm not... Um, I'm also not bashing anybody that's not familiar with any of this. Totally fine. I'm just I'm just curious to know as to if other people were as colorful as we were um, in my elementary school. So yeah. Anyway, I bought a Pez dispenser because you guys actually don't know this at all. I collect Pez dispensers. I only have two of them. Well, I have. Three. three other ones besides this one two that are Star Wars related I have Yoda and I have um, R2-D2 and then I have one that's not Star Wars related which is the robot from the I'm trying to think of that one movie oh my god it's a Pixar movie and it's the robot and I can't think of what he's called right now. If you guys remember the name of that movie, please comment it down below. That's going to kill me. So, I have one of the uh, the female one in that movie. They fall in love or something. I'll think of it eventually. Sorry that I forgot. If I think of it, I'll put it somewhere in this area right here during editing. Moving on. Now, we're going to get to some Hot Topic stuff because y'all know I can't help but buy from them. This one's for all my makeup lovers out there or all of my gals that are, or guys, I don't judge. Ladies, gentlemen, whoever that likes makeup. Um, this palette is called Berries. It's in a, um, it looks like it's in a purple thing here on camera but it's in like it is in a purple thing but it's a different color so I'm just gonna place this on the mirror so that we're not getting a really weird kind of glare thing going on like that so where this is there is a mirror and comes with your basic applicators which is a sponge and this lovely brush I've used some of these on this and we'll talk about them in just a second. First, let me show them to you. If you guys are interested in it, um, I don't know if this palette still sold on Hot Topic, but I think I paid like 12 bucks for it. Here's the uh, item number. Feel free to pause the video anytime I show you an item number, which I'm going to be doing. If you want to check it out, like I said, hottopic.com. No, I'm not sponsored. I just like their stuff. I tried this little purple looking uh, shade, and it is called Juliet. But the only thing was that it was really difficult to come off of my skin. I am a very uh, pale person, for one thing. So that might have had something to do with it. It might not even be this uh, makeup. It just might be that my skin's super pale. And on the back, it has the colors as well so that you can, uh, before you even open this uh, palette, you'll know like what it is. Um, the, there's some ingredients on the back as well, which is another thing. If you buy makeup, let me say, make sure you test it on your skin before or like on your hand or something make sure you do a little test to make sure that you're not allergic to whatever's in the makeup because different companies use different things you don't want to like break out or have to go to the hospital because you were trying on makeup that would be really bad um here's the eyeshadow brand i think it says b y s hopefully i did that right and on the back of this, I'm trying to read a little bit on it. Um, it says it's made in France, so that's kind of interesting. But if you guys want to check this palette out, again, Hot Topic, it's called Berries. It's got some really nice 
Um, I got it because it's got some like natural kind of nude colors, but it does have like a nice red kind of shade or burgundy or whatever. And so that's interesting. If you guys want to check it out? Check it out. And to add on to that, I bought, first of all, let me show this box. It's a really cool looking box. Let's get out. I bought some lip gloss. I'm just going to pop them out. And there's two nude colors of brown. It's really hard to tell them apart, but this one's the lighter shade. This one's the darker. Um, they got tiki heads on the top of them, which I thought was kind of neat. But the real reason I even bothered with this palette... I'm sorry. Mm. The real reason I even bothered with this lip gloss was this really nice pink looking shade. You can't tell, but it's like cotton candy uh, pink color, and it just kind of drew me to it. I figured if I was going to be buying some eyeshadow, and it was going to be sort of nude-like colors, I might as well get me some lip gloss to go with that. Now, there's not an item number on this. Um, because it just came in this box but you guys can check it out once again it's on Hot Topic uh, on the back it tells you how to put on the lip gloss but it also tells you what is in the lip gloss I know it's ripped here I, I was trying to open it and something happened where I guess it ripped or something but um, yeah so you guys should check these two things out it's supposed to be matte lip gloss but when I put it on I guess I didn't leave it enough like time to dry so it didn't really matte kind of the way I wanted I have a really hard time with matte lip glosses if anybody has any suggestions on how to not make them look like gross and dry or anything like that I know that's what matte is supposed to be but I don't mean like beautiful matte I mean it looks really weird on my lips guys I don't know if that's just me or what the deal is but um, yeah I have a long history of that so any suggestions are welcome all right so the next thing is gonna be some jewelry I will make sure to show you the item number before I show you the jewelry so feel free to pause right here on this maybe I should show the jewelry first that's probably a better idea this is supposed to be a skull in a little um, container I think the container might be glass I can't really tell but it's like a black skull I know it's really hard to see but yeah there's a skull in there and this necklace is longer so it has like a thing on the back of it and it's sort of got like a how a rosary might have this little Y looking um, thing going on and there's like a jewel right here so take what you will of that I personally just thought it was really neat looking you'll notice that I try to buy a jewelry that's super uh, unique some of it isn't because it's just stuff that I see and I'm like oh that's nice so I just buy it but I try to get stuff that's um, unique so right now I'm going to show you the oh my bad I'm going to show you the product and then I'll show you the product number so this is literally a skeleton key I know there's a movie called the skeleton key but that's, that's literally what this is um, this is a, one of their shorter necklaces I think Okay, so on it, it says long necklace, but it's not, like, super, super long. I just want to let you guys know. It's like a golden and black kind of color to it, and it's got roses. I believe that's what that's supposed to be on the top, and the eyes are hearts, and then you got the nose, the mouth, and the bottom of it's a key. I was like, this is kind of neat. It's got, like, a, a, a steampunk kind of thing going on here where it's like a gold and a black color for all of you that are not familiar with what steampunk is um, you can look it up online I do a really bad job of describing stuff so 
Or I do a really bad job of describing like fashion trends. I can't really put them into words. But I was like, oh, that's unique. I might want something like that. Um, I might be able to wear that somewhere. I haven't wore it yet. All of these that I'm showing you I haven't worn yet. Alright, so next thing is a really long necklace. I'm going to take it off of this black thing right now. And it's a crystal, so if you're into the whole studying crystals or you are of the Wiccan religion, you might be down to buy this crystal necklace. Um, or you might want to make one similar to it. It's sort of like a green and purpley looking tone on it. Um, I didn't really care really what tone it was. I just thought it was kind of neat. It's a really long necklace, as you can see by the chain. But, um, oh yeah. Let me give you that item number on that skeleton key. Feel free to pause this video if you want to check this out. See if they still have them. And here's the item number on this crystal pendant. Again, pause the video if you want to check it out. I guess they're doing that. So, if you want to buy another one or something, you'll know the, um, the item number. Or maybe that's like a proof of purchase or something. I don't really know. Okay, so I bought this necklace and another one. And I cannot, for the life of me... Remember what I did with the other one. It's it's somewhere in this room. I know that much. But I can't think of what I did with it. So let me just get it out of this little plastic bag. Like I said, I'm not wore any of these. You can kind of see how this one's still taped on the back. Um, I've not had the opportunity to wear it out and about. I got this one on a deal where you bought one... And you got another one free uh, for necklaces. I can't remember when I bought this. Might have been January. Don't exactly remember. On it, it says, wear this necklace as a reminder that you are an exceptional beauty. And this is beauty and love. So it's supposed to be a lotus flower. Um, if you're not, and then a crystal. If you're not familiar with what... Uh, a lotus flower is there's a whole story um, with the Asian culture I want to say that it's Japan but it may not be I'm not for sure you might want to do a little research on this just take what I'm saying for face value you guys because um, sometimes I forget stuff or I repeat things wrong or whatever but the I think if I remember correctly not to offend anyone if I get this wrong but the lotus flower is supposed to represent a um, a, a growth basically so you're um, like it grew out of the mud there's a whole story behind it you can check it out by googling it um, I don't want to tell you the wrong thing I never want to offend people that's not my goal here but you know I guess whatever happens happens guys oh yeah if you want the item number on this which I don't think they have these anymore but you can look the background was really cool on this one too it's like a galaxy thing um, I think those were supposed to be sort of like religious ones or um, they had like crosses and different things like that uh, related to sort of religion so if you're a religious person you might want to check into those. And then this is the last thing I got from Hot Topic Jewelry Wise during this um, impulse buy. It's a yin and yang uh, choker. This is velvet, black and white with the yin and yang kind of pendant on it. So this is like a religious symbol, but it's become more of a mainstream type of thing. Um, but to me, yin and yang basically means that you can't have light without darkness. You can't have good without evil. Things balance one another out. I'm not for sure if that's what it means, but uh, that's what it means to me anyway. Here's the item number on that. Feel free to pause if you want to check it out. 
And then last but not least, I have another jewelry item, but it's not from Hot Topic. I was on eBay and I was looking up, I know this stuff's noisy, I'm sorry, let me move it. Anyway, I was on eBay and I was looking up um, a brain pin or a brain um, necklace or something to wear that had a brain on it. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I am going to be going through my graduation from the community college that I attend, which or that I had attended. You guys know that probably by now. And it's going to be in May. I'm recording this in April, by the way. I don't know when I'm going to upload. But it's going to be May the um, 5th, I think. Uh, so there's that. And the reason I wanted something brain related is for two reasons. First of all, I studied psychology when I went to this community college. I kind of, I'm thinking that's the path I want to go. I might go another path. I, I'm really indecisive. I know. But I couldn't decide. So that's what I was going into. And I had a professor who I think I spoke briefly on this. I did a drawing for him. Uh, rest in peace. He was a professor who, as I just said, he passed away, but he was the psychology professor when I first got started down there, and um, I didn't know, I only knew him for like a year, basically, so it was um, a fall semester and a spring semester that I took him for two different classes. He was a really cool professor. I learned a lot under him, and so basically I'm buying this necklace as a remembrance of him and what he taught me so uh, I, I found this necklace it's really beautiful it is a cameo necklace let me see if I can't get it to um, and there's a brain on it I know that's really difficult to see but this is really beautiful in person and I thought Originally, I wanted a pin or something I could pin on my uh, gown, but I thought maybe this will be a little bit more subtle. And it's really neat because this person makes these jewelry pieces, and they're real beautiful. It's basically just putting a picture um, on a cameo. It comes in this little Ziploc, and it was packaged really well, too. By the way, bonus points to the person that packaged this. Um, and I'm going to give them a little shout out here because um, they were really cool and this this piece was really beautiful. So I don't know this person personally that runs this um, eBay shop, which is where I bought it. Um, but you can check out the website right here and this is their business card. It got a little ripped in the mail because I was... Um, opening the package so fast you know I was excited to have this and to wear it so uh, here it is it says stay creepy and it says thank you for your business we hope you love your order and it's really cute uh, Frankenstein's monsters bride that's hard to say on the back here, it says, please contact us with any questions or concerns. It says, visit our website. It says, www.ghoulishgirls.com for exclusive discounts and to sign up for our loyalty program. It says, XOXO Ghoulish Girls. So, whoever, um, again, you can pause this video if you want to get the site. If you're into, like, gothic stuff or you're into kind of alternative fashion types of things, they have a lot of stuff that's like that. So there's a lot of like black and kind of skulls. Things like that. Things that um, I like and a lot of people like. That's totally fine. Um, so yeah, I'm giving them a little self promo. I don't know who runs this shop exactly. But thank you so much, first of all, for running a shop for alternative 
uh, fashion. Also, thank you a lot for opening an eBay shop where I can get something like this in remembrance of someone that I care uh, about and that I cared about. Um, you guys have really cool looking products. Um, I mean, I could go on and on and on about it, but if you guys want to check them out, they're on eBay. You can type their name in, but they also have a website. I don't know you guys, but uh, again, 100 times, thank you so much. And that was basically all of this video. So, hopefully you found something here that you like if you want to check it out. Uh, pause the video anytime that you see something that you enjoy because, uh, you know, you might as well see if you can find it somewhere. Um, I will try to link this website down below if it's still a thing. I'm hoping it is because, I mean, it's really hard to find sometimes alternative fashion for people that don't live in an area where that's like a big thing. So, anyway, I'll try to link that down below for you guys to, um, check it out. I'll link the, um, this website that's on the back of this card granted that I can find it so if I don't find it it won't be linked below but if I do it will be um, I'm sure I will be able to but I'm just saying uh, thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you liked it if you did make sure you subscribe to this channel you don't want to miss any of my new content got cool videos coming up um, if you um, want to like this video I'd appreciate that it shows me that you're interested in it I'm sorry it ran super long I wish they could have made it shorter but I wanted to get everything in there so like I said like it comment down below your favorite piece or whatever you liked that I had and this has been my impulse buy video and I'm sure I'll have more because I'm always looking for good deals and sales and stuff so anyway Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the rambling, and I'll see you all later. Bye.